Do not try to make this dunya a jannah or firdaus because you cannot make this dunya a jannah. This we were created for a purpose, and that purpose Allah says, Allah says, "Wama kalat al jannah wal insa." I have created the jinns and the in just to worship me by following the teachings of the, the Prophet And also Allah says in Surah Mulk verse number 2 Allah di khalaqad mawta wal hayata Tayyab luwakum ayyuk sanu amala I have created jinns and the ends only to worship me The word has used Allah is just to worship me so when you worship him according to the Allah and the Prophet ﷺ, then you get Allah and you're gonna get a successful. And then Allah will provide you according to what is your needs in this dunya. But rather dunya, if you if we run after the dunya for the money, for the jobs and everything, remember Allah will leave you alone and you're gonna be struggling very hard in this dunya. But if we go back to Allah and just live a life according to the way He wants. He makes your life easier to live in dunya. But also remember, this dunya is not something to to have a beautiful paradise and not for those because those who are living a beautiful life in dunya because they might have a strong trials on the akhara. But those who have a miserable life in this dunya, they will have less trials on the day of akhara. So do not think those who live a beautiful life in the dunya they they might be have a very blessed people and those who have a miserable life in the dunya with a hunger and everything they are they might be a sinner so they're bad people but maybe allah is more happy with them because maybe the allah has put the trials in the dunya on him because maybe allah wants to give them something very good but those who have a money have a house has ownership a lordship have a they are being a powerful people in in, in dunya because maybe they have a strong tile on akhra because Allah wants to test you the way you have lived and how you have uh, treated other people you know in surah Baqarah verse number 153 uh, Allah says when you have a problem in dunya for an example any trials and extreme trials of change of a calamity going up and down Allah says, Ya Allahin Amana, Astainu bi sabre wa sala. Remember when the Sahaba used to have a problem, what they do? They go make a wadu and they do two rakat salah and ask Allah to Ya Allah, please solve my this problem and give me a sabr. In Allah ma'asabirin. Allah is with those who have a sabr. So there's a special reward for the people of sabr who is being sabirin, who is among the sabirin. They will enter the jannah without accountable because they their account with their account has already been done in dunya so allah does not want to open their deeds and they will say this this person has been gone through a lot of trials in the dunya so i will just let him go in surah in surah bakara was number 53 allah says allah says Give the glad tidings to those people on whom I have put this these trials. What is trials? Money. They don't have a risk. They do not have a job. For some reason, Allah doesn't want you to do that. For an example, if someone has a doctorate degree, someone has a master's degree, but but still they do not have a job. Those who are capable to get married, they are not getting married. Those who have a married, they have a extreme trials of spouse. So there's some different types of uh, of trials on anyone like uh, so they will not have uh, they will have calamity ups and downs in the risk maybe they do not even have the risk so these are all the trials in different forms so do not think Allah hates you but these are trials but Allah says because if you live the life with sabr then it's a glad tiring for those who, who are being in a trial but they do not want to utter something anything wrong that makes Allah displeased but rather Allah will say this person has was living a life in the patient I ha I didn't give him money I didn't give him job I didn't give him anything and he has been this this remember the story of the uh, Ayyub alayhi islam he, he has went to a lot of trials for so many years then Allah returned him back better than what he took it from I took it from Ayub alayhi salam. So these are all trials. So when you have a problem, be among the sabir. Stay quiet and go make a two salah and ask Allah, Oh ya Allah, please give me 
a sabar i want you to pass this exam please give me the sabar